Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Priya. My topic for today is very simple and the basics of law. That is meaning and explanation of law, bill, act and ordinance. Let's start with the basic, what is law? Although there are various definition and explanation pertaining to law, I've tried to explain some of them. Law is a set of rules and regulation enacted by the parliament to direct the conduct of people. It is an arrangement of controls that are made to govern individuals to help them in their conduct according to the norms of the society. Law are made to maintain public order and to control and protect individuals. We get the opportunity to perceive what we ought to do and ought not to do specifically by it. Laws are broader in nature and they are not entangled. It includes many things like an act, ordinance, order, bylaws, rules, regulations, decision of the high courts or supreme court, authorized notices, etc. made by government bodies. That means law is very vague and broader in nature. Broadly, there are two types of law. The first one is common law and second is legislative or statutory law. Common law is popularly known as judge-made law and legislative law is a codified law which is passed by the parliament. Explanation of common law and legislative law. Common law is characterized as a group of legitimate standards that have been made by judges as they issue decisions on cases rather than guidelines and laws made by the lawmaking body or in official statutes. That means common law is based on precedent and precedents are the previous case law out of which some principle has been laid down. Whereas legislative law or statutory law is passed by the parliament. Statutory law is more formal body of the legal system that consists of written or codified legislature. This is mainly be based on rules and regulations either mandating or prohibiting certain behaviors of the general public. The next is what is bill? This is pertaining to Indian laws. It is necessary in India that any legislative law must be passed by the parliament. So a bill can be considered as an underlying phase of an act. Bill is a proposal to make a new law in a form of a draft. For the most part, a bill is an archive that rundowns what is the approach behind the proposed law and what is to be the proposed law. A bill can be presented by the government itself or proposed by a member of the parliament. The bill is first proposed in the lower house of the parliament and after discussions and debates, once it has been passed by the lower house, the bill goes to the upper house for approval. Once the bill is passed by the upper house, it is sent to the president for his consent. At long last, a bill turns into a law or act of the land once it has been passed by the parliament and furthermore got consent from the president. The next topic is what is act? Acts are a type of laws that pertain to specific state of affairs and circumstances. They are passed by the parliament to let people know the rules and regulations about specific situations and contains various provision relating to it. To make it simpler, let's understand the difference between the law and act. If we talk about a criminal law, it includes three acts. The first is IPC, CRPC and Evidence Act. But if we say that there is an act, it is specific in nature like Evidence Act will contain all the things related with the evidence only, whereas criminal law will include three laws. So that's why law is broader in nature and act is specific in nature. An act is the complete text of some legislative writings 
which lays out the completeness of what the legislature has voted on and approved. It includes all of the necessary statutory which is to be adopted, changed or repealed, but also often include language indicating the origin of the bill that was passed as well as any key findings upon which the legislature based their proposal, decision and or or decisions on. Act either create a new law or make amendment in the existing one. Difference between law and act. Law is described as a set of rules and regulation set up by the stipulated authority and are meant to regulate the conduct of the members of the society. Whereas the act is created by the legislature that concentrate on a specific subject and contains provision related to it. Law is generic or broad in nature that covers all rules and regulations, notices, bylaws made by the government at any point of time and decisions of court. Whereas act is specific as it is limited to a definite situation like all the provisions related to the contract are covered under the contract act or provisions related to the partnership are included in the partnership act and so forth. Third, a law is an established phenomena whereas an act is originally a bill which is proposed in the parliament first and when it gets approval from both the houses that is the Lok Sabha or lower house and the Rajya Sabha or upper house and the president as well, it becomes an act. Fourth, law explains what should be and what should not be done in any context. On the other hand, an act is descriptive which explains why and how laws are enforced. Lastly, law is enforced to protect people from unfair practices and to maintain public order. On the other hand, the fundamental reason for the creation of act is to let people know the rules and regulations about specific situation. The last one is ordinance. As it has been discussed earlier that it is necessary for any act to be passed by the parliament. But sometimes it may happen that parliament is not in session and it is necessary to implement that particular law. In that condition, ordinance are laws that are declared by the president of India on the proposal of the union cabinet. They must be issued when parliament is not in session. They empower the Indian government to make quick legislative action or administrative move. Ordinance stop to work either if parliament does not approve of them within six months of reassembly or if objecting resolution are passed by the two houses. So it means for a time being it will be considered as an ordinance but not the act. It is additionally necessary for a session of parliament to be held within one month. This is all about some of the basics of laws. I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. And for detailed note, you may visit to my website that is priyasipaha.com. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.